and welcome to Miranda Detailing. So today we are detailing this Chevy Impala. Let's take a look at what we have in store today. Now, this is a friend's car and it's going uh, back to uh, the dealership. Let's take a look at it. really doesn't need anything too drastic. So we're going to clean it up, make sure all the carpets are clean, the upholstery, and the center console, the dash, make sure it's looking nice. And then the exterior, uh, we're going to see if we can take care of some stone chip um, repair and see if we can bring the gloss back to uh, the paint. Um, again, it's really not in bad shape at all. Let's take a look at the exterior. Let's start with the wash process. So I start the process by using the degreaser and making sure to hit all of the really nasty grungy areas first. Tires, wheel wells, engine compartment inside the door jams and then I do a rinse out uh, of all those areas to make sure that they're all clean and nice looking. Okay, so now that the vehicle is cleaned, it's rinsed off, all the wheels are done, 
I'm going to take this opportunity as it's uh, still wet to clay bar all of the bottom portion. So you saw me use the mitt, um, the wash mitt, and then the clay mitt to do all the top surfaces, but I like to do the bottom surfaces with the clay bar because it's grungier down there. So it's gonna pick up more grit and gunk and it'll be embedded in the clay. So let's do that process and then we'll pull it in. two pieces of clay in the hot bucket. Uh, that way I can just switch it out and the other one will warm up. So it's not freezing today, but it is chilly. So it's just easier to keep them in a bucket of hot water and switch them out as you need them. That way, nice and soft. So it is freezing a little bit. Wiping down uh, some of the surfaces, the metal and painted surfaces here, we're going to let the 303 aerospace protectant uh, dry on the surfaces. It's going to settle out really nice on the plastic and then we might just have to go in and wipe up a few areas and then we'll show you uh, when it is all done. The vehicle is now cleaned. It's pretty much dry. Um, I didn't go crazy blow drying it because it was freezing on the paint outside. So we pulled it in. Um, what we're going to do is just kind of look over the paint and make sure to touch up any of those stone chips, uh, maybe some light scratches, and then I'm going to polish the, not polish the paint. I'm gonna protect the paint. I'm not gonna show you the paint this is not a paint correction. Okay, I'm gonna show you the paint. Here's the paint. Oh well. <laughs> this is just going to be uh, protection. So I am going to use Meguiar's Ultra Polishing Wax. Now I've used this in a few different vehicles. Some detailers compare it to HD Speed. Um, I really don't think it cuts like HD Speed. It does finish really nice. It's It's a nice polishing wax, but I don't know. In my experience, HD Speed still cuts better than this. Maybe it's just my technique, I don't know, or maybe it's just the vehicles that I have been working on, but HD Speed is still my go-to for one step or all-in-one uh, polishing. So 
I think though that I might use this as my wax for this spring and summer and fall and uh, because I like the way that it applies removes like a breeze right off the paint and we'll see what type of durability it gets so we're going to use this today on the Impala I made sure to wipe down all the door jams you saw me use that auto magic hydro shine so when I first started detailing I used a lot of auto magic products because there's a warehouse really close to us about 30 minutes away and I discovered it as I was doing research and got a lot of chemicals there I kind of phased a lot of their stuff out um, some of their degreasers and, and things are, are good but I really don't go too much for their polishes and waxes and things like that but I do use that hydro shine and that's basically a a drying aid and it does add protection uh, and I used to use it on my uh, maintenance vehicles that I would that I would wash and I would see about four weeks or more of protection it would beat up really nicely uh, even on daily drivers that were um, not garaged so I really like that stuff and I still use it on some maintenance uh, washes not not a lot uh, but I use it for under the hood the trunk lid the door jams it protects and shines all those areas and acts as a drying aid so I really like that stuff all right, so let's continue on with the Impala. So after I used that little touch-up tool, I, as you saw, put lacquer thinner in that little cap. You can use a little paper cup or whatever. I just like to use the cap because it's low profile. And I just dunk the head of this um, tool in there. And as you see, it will start to dissolve all the paint. And I just leave it in there to soak. And I'll use the little tool here that it comes with and maybe a little cotton swab or paper towel and go in there and just wipe it out but it will clean everything in there if you just let it soak easy way to clean that pen and it does clog as you saw when I went around the vehicle you need to keep that little tool with you to unclog that tiny tiny little tip of this tool to make sure that the paint comes out but it is an awesome tool to use for paint touch up
so let's get into the waxing part of the detail. I am using my porter cable with just a nice soft red pad to apply the wax. One, two, three, four. That's about it that I will use. I'm gonna center this pad, it's a little off, but that's how much product we're going to use and I'll show you how we apply it and show you how it looks on the paint. So now that the paint is evenly coated here on the hood, let's continue with the rest of the vehicle. Now that was just a little bit of sap and it seemed fresh because it didn't leave a mark. All we did is removed it with a little bit of lacquer thinner and a microfiber towel. And we're simply just going to protect over the surface. I'm going to remove all of the wax residue and then we'll start on the interior. To the glass. Now I use uh, two towels. Sometimes I use three if they're, if they're really, really bad, um, like there's smoke residue or just a heavy buildup of grime on the windows. But for this vehicle, we just need two towels. And one I saturate really well with our glass cleaner. So we use Meguiar's glass cleaner. And then the dry one will be for uh, polishing away any residue or in, and any streaks uh, that might happen. So Wet towel, dry towel. Oh yeah, and I also use my light to make sure that I don't uh, miss any little corners and, and streaks. This really does help out a lot. done. I'm going to show you what I do for scratches that cannot be 
compounded out completely and they're on the edge of this fender which means if you really try to um, go too aggressive you risk burning through so I would never attempt that on what I'm going to show you here so we're going to touch it up with some black paint so let me show you what we're dealing with so this is too deep you can feel it and you can really see that it's just way too deep to try to get out and it's right on this edge here that you do not want to heavily compound this area too much so let's see if we can fill it in and make it look better okay so I've just filled up the tiny reservoir here with just enough paint I didn't really fill it all the way up because we're not going to need it come to find out with this is you do need to kind of prime the little pin here to get it going So with deep scratches like that, uh, we use that little uh, pen to be able to just draw a line of paint right in that deep scratch. So, you know, with these, they're not going to come out perfect unless you were to layer it and then maybe do a little bit of wet sanding and then you can compound it or, or polish it out lightly uh, to be able to flatten it. But for a quick fix to make this look better and to really kind of hide it from your eye when you're looking around the vehicle, that's a perfect way to do it. All right, the Impala is finished. I wish I could take it outside, but the weather is cold and rainy right now. Again, this was a wash, clay bar, and wax. So this was our Onyx paint protection service. And then it was just a basic interior cleanup to vacuum the carpets and upholstery and dust everything and wipe everything down to make it look presentable and nice. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you do like it, give us a thumbs up subscribe and click that bell that way you get a notification when our new videos drop each week if you have any questions or comments please put them down below also and if you are interested in any of our uh, tools that we use i'll put a link to amazon or any other place that i could find it mostly i, I find my uh, tools and equipment and chemicals on amazon and i will put a link to those down below and hope to see you next time take care